Hey y'all, Joy Diggs of Dig Deep Fitness and Nutrition, personal trainer and registered dietitian. So today I want to talk to you all about breast cancer. As we know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so I want to make sure that we're all decreasing our risk of developing this disease. And so I want to leave you with three tips on things you can control. Now, of course, we know there's no 100% guarantee that you won't develop the disease. There's no foolproof method, but all we can, can do is control what we can to decrease our own risk by controlling our own individual habits. So tip number one, of course, is related to your food intake. What we put into our body is always gonna have the biggest effect on the quality of our life. So you wanna make sure that you're eating enough fruits and vegetables. The recommendation right now is to have at least five combined servings of fruit and vegetables. So a serving size is one cup or one medium piece of fruit um, about the size of your fist. So every time that you eat, you wanna make sure that you're eating either a fruit or vegetable or both to make sure that you're getting enough nutrients to fight off potentially cancer causing agents in your body. Fruit and vegetables are very important. We've, we've been hearing that since we were children. Eat your vegetables is even more important now as we get older. So make sure that you're eating your fruits and vegetables. We also want to limit alcohol intake. I know that's a little bit more challenging, right? So the recommendation right now is for women to have no more than one alcoholic beverage per day. For men, the number is two. And just for example, a serving of an alcohol, uh, alcoholic beverage is like a five ounce glass of wine. So I know a lot of times people have their, their wine with their dinner. You may have two or three bottles, cups, whatever you may do. And so we want to make sure that we're having no more than one because as your intake increases, it also increases your risk for developing breast cancer. You want to make sure you're controlling your weight. So of course, a lot of that is related to the food that you eat you're eating, so making sure that you're controlling your portion sizes, gonna get in a good mix of nutrients and making sure that you're not overeating on a regular basis so that you're not carrying extra weight. Obesity and being overweight has also been linked to increased risk of, bre of breast cancer. So that's something that we can control by controlling what we put into our bodies. Tip number two, of course, is related to exercise. We wanna make sure that we're getting regular physical activity most days of the week. Right now, their recommendation is to have at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. So you can chop that up however you want to, 150 minutes. That's 30 minutes for five days. That's 50 minutes for three days. And like I said, that's moderate int intensity exercise. So that's exercise you can do where you can still carry on a conversation. You may be a little bit out of breath, but it's not super, super intense. Now, if you are doing super intense workouts, the good news is you only need 75 minutes of vigorous exercise for the week. So now you're looking at two days, 37 and a half minutes each day, where you can chop that up into five days, 15 minutes, however, however you would like to do it. But you wanna make sure that you're getting your heart elevated and staying elevated for that length of time throughout the week so that you are again, decreasing your risk for developing different types of chronic disease, including cancers. And tip number three is make sure you go on to your regular checkups. I know a lot of people avoid the doctor. You don't want to go on for your annual exam. These exams are important because they help to screen and prevent diseases, trying to get them before they start. But even more importantly is early detection. So making sure that if something is going on, we can go ahead and start reversing those trends. So annual exam, making sure you're doing your own self check um, once a month. And then also making sure that you're getting your, your mammograms on a regular basis. So mammograms should start around 40 years old. If you have family history of breast cancer, a lot of times they recommend that you get it starting at, at age 35 so that you can start having a record of your breast health and they can track that over time. All right, y'all, like I said, a lot of us have, have been affected by someone, a loved one that's had breast cancer. I know in my own family, I've had two family members that have had breast cancer. Um, um, unfortunately, we lost um, one of them a few years ago. And so this is something that, you know, is, 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 is becoming more common. It's very common because we all have a family member, a loved one, a coworker, a friend, somebody who has developed this disease. And a lot of times we think about the cure, we fight for cures, when we should really be fighting to prevent the disease from happening in the first place. So we can all do our own part and control our own behaviors and just aim to be healthy and live a healthy lifestyle, then I hope that over time we can start to decrease these incidences and just live a better quality of life in general. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. Please make sure to like me on Facebook, 
Follow me on Instagram or subscribe to me on YouTube, and I'll see you soon.